Hi folks, thanks for watching. This little bottle is real important to me. It's called Monobon Etch and Prime. It's by Ivaclair. It's a one-step etch and prime. So we don't have to use hot floor catch. All we do is use Monobon Etch and Prime on a micro tip brush. And you're gonna scrub your adhesive surface. Make sure it doesn't flow through the external aspect of your ceramic, otherwise it's gonna cause the resin to stick to the outside when you're cleaning it up. We'll take the micro tip brush and agitate the first 20 seconds. Just agitate that internal surface. So you'll want to place your drop on your brush and don't drop it into your restoration. Otherwise, it could be too much. The Monobond Itch and Prime liquid just on your brush will be adequate. Agitate for 20 seconds. Then you allow the Monobond Itch and Prime to dwell for another 40 seconds. So the cumulative time there is 60 seconds. Now, what's nice about this material is that it's very forgiving from a time standpoint. Uh, let's suppose you're talking to the patient and it goes for three minutes. You're gonna be fine. All you do is rinse it off. No, you're gonna rinse, and this is really important. After you rinse and make sure all the color's gone, you're gonna dry for the big 10 seconds. So you're gonna have to count that out. You dry for 10 seconds, and what that does is take that etched surface and it will create a nice adhesive surface so it will perform also as your silane agent. So you don't have to place a separate silane agent with this product. Now the studies are showing excellent bond strength and use the same time reference for all your different type of ceramics, whether it be a microfelspathic, a lucite ceramic, a lithium disilicate ceramic. It's all 60 seconds. That's kind of cool because with hydrofluoric etch, a lithium disilicate ceramic. You don't want to go below or above 20 seconds, otherwise you lose the optimal bond strength for that ceramic. So take a look at this if you haven't used it yet. It should be in your arsenal to make sure your ceramics are conditioned properly. And one of my objectives in the clinical theater is to do the same step the same way every time. So if I can take those steps and condense them to make them streamlined, it sure makes the flow of my day go a lot easier. So thank you, Ivy Clear. I think you hit a real home run on this one. It's a great three-pointer to win that game. That's how I look at this. So it's a great product, you gotta try it.